All right, guys, first one. Look at the pattern. 12 is four times bigger than three. Eight is four times bigger than two. I think this will work nicely. Take out three, because three divides into 12, three and 12. Take out the X as well. And you should be left over with 4A. How do we know it's 4A? 3 times 4? 12. Plus B. What's 3X times B? 3BX. I know that if that's the first bracket, 4A plus B must be the second bracket. What multiplies by 4A to give you 8? 2. But what letter? Y. 2Y by 4A. 4AAY. 2Y by B. 2YB. Finish it off, put them both into brackets. 3x plus 2y, 4a plus b. Okay, next one. You looking? Yeah, off you go then. Mx. Yeah, now lads, here's something that you're not getting, and a lot of you don't get this. That minus belongs to the 2my. This minus belongs to the 12bx. If you move them, you move the minus with it. Okay, so go on, what do you want to move, Eric? The 2MY right there, yeah? So, so that's 1 and 2. So you need to put, what's left over then? 12 and 24. Which one goes first? The 12 goes first, because the smaller one ahead of the bigger one. And what you take out now, Eric? M on the outside? Yeah. Yeah, and a 2y. Two, two Same in the other bracket. Good man. And what goes outside here then? 12. Now what's 12 times x? I want 12 bx though. Exactly. And then your answer after that then? Yeah. m minus 12, b, and x minus 2y. Is that all right with you guys? Okay. Now, lads, these ones down here. Okay. Uh, let's start off with uh, Liam. Will you help me out? 1 times 12. 1 multiplied by 12. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, sorry, Caleb. Sorry. 12. Two numbers that multiply to give you 12, but add to give you minus 7. And it is. Or minus two, minus four. Yeah, whichever one. That's, I'm gonna, uh, I agree with you, Josh. Putting the four X in front of it is easier, I think. Or not, I don't know. That's, would everybody be all right with minus three and minus four? Okay. What comes out the first two? X into X minus 3, and then another, then over here, yeah, yeah, all right guys, now, next one, uh, SG, all right, help me out here. Four times nine. Uh, SG stands for himself. You're J something. J H. Minus 36. Two numbers that multiply to give you minus 36, but add to give you minus 16. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? Is it minus two plus 18? Yeah. Lads, SG is using a uh, plus two and minus 18. Okay. Are you looking up here, lads, to learn what you're doing wrong? Okay. Grant. After that, then. Uh, what can I take out? Oh, uh, we'll look at the one over here. 2x. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Two. Two. 
Yeah. Two X plus one, yeah. What's next? Yeah. Then what's that? Plus nine or minus nine? A minus nine. Now, lads, look what happens. Uh, SF, you multiply it back out. 2x by 2x. 2x by 1. 9 by 2x. 9 times 1. Exactly. And what you have left over then? What's the answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? All right. Uh, RC. Okay, you are going to do the third one for me here. Okay, how'd you do it? Minus A, what you got? All right, minus 24. Two numbers that multiply to give me minus 24, but add to give me minus 10. Anybody? Yes. Okay, now why can you not use, can anybody in the class explain why am I not allowed to use minus 4 and minus 6? Alright, 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 take care of your class later. No, 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 take care of your class later. You owe somebody 6 euro, you owe somebody 4 euro, that means you owe them 10 euro. They do make minus 10. However, when you multiply them, they make plus 24, not minus 24. So they're disqualified because they don't make minus 24. Yeah, go. Minus 12 plus 2. Minus 12 plus 2. You have to go for minus 12 plus 2. So a few of you would have fell into that trap. Okay. Uh, A. What to do next? Hey, H, thank you. What, what what the boys into three and twelve? Yeah, and now what's left over? Shh. X and four, yeah, and then that's also X and four. What goes here? Stand your own. Right. Two X was two, and what's next? X minus four. Cool. All right. Lads, this one here is what's known as the difference of two squares. Uh, Dara. Right, help me out. X squared minus seven squared. And after that, big improvement on this one. Well done. Okay. Uh, Next one for me. JM. Go. 3x to be squared, yeah. Yeah. What's the answer then? Yeah. Okay, guys. You want to have all these corrected by tomorrow, lads, so if you're not writing them, you want to be. And you can do them tonight. I'll, I'll pop the video later. You should go through it again anyway. Lads, this next one's a problem. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a reason why. Shh. Lads, 8, 8 and 20, 8 and 50 are not squared numbers. But, turn around. Yeah, I'll after this. Yeah. Take out an even number. What even number can you take out of two of these? You take out two. That's you can take out two. And what's left over when you take out two? Okay. Now lads, we're only going to do this part here now. How do we do that part? Any idea SF? What do I turn it into? What do I turn four x squared into? Two b squared. It's two x times two x is four x squared. What do we turn? 25 y squared into 5 y by 5 y. Yeah. Now, what's the answer for that part then? What's the answer for this part? Shh. 
Uh, yeah, you can have that. Yeah. And what's the other part? Yeah. yeah. And what happened to the two on the outside? Still there. All right. All right. We kill? All right. Connor, where are you? CC. Okay. Uh, tell me what you do here. Yeah, yeah no, he, he's doing it. Go on. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Two times six X. Yeah. Two times minus six. Oh, so two times minus three. All right. Now, lads, we want to tidy that side up. We want to tidy the right hand side. Too much stuff over there. So, shh. what's 12x plus 4x? 16x. Minus 6 minus 2, Connor? Minus 6 minus 2. Minus 8. Shh. Anything with an X to the left, anything without an X to the right. Shh. All right, SF, what goes here? No, no, the minus 8 stays where it is. Yeah, good man, the minus 16, because it changes. What happens to that minus 5? Yeah. That's this right. Yeah, minus 6X equals minus 3. Now, Here's the part. Actually, this brings this brings something to life for me. You guys, a significant portion of the class is really having problems at this stage. You're all really good to this part. Now that you start going seven out of ten, is unreal. And here's the part you're suffering. Now let me try and fix this once and for all. Right? I'm going to write a question on the top left. Right? Really quickly. Five. Just just listen to me. Five x equals ten. Would you all be happy with that? Different question. Okay. The 5 is multiply on the left. What does that mean when it moves to the right? Division. Now, to prevent you from making a mistake, write down the parts that aren't moving. The 10's not moving. The X isn't moving. What's the only thing that's moving? I put the 5 underneath. And you get X equals 2. This is the same thing. The X is not moving. The minus 3 isn't moving. It's a minus 6 though. So that goes underneath. No. Uh, multiplication turns into division. I know. Well, is everybody happy with x equals a half? There's one person who does that every time, and that's the only thing you're doing wrong in all tests. I don't know who you are, but hopefully you'll fix it. Yeah. Shh. All right. Next one. Of course, the common denominator. Because the common denominator of uh, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 other people can speak as well. Uh, MK. So turn them into eights. So what do I do here? Now. All right. What you get? 13x minus 3 over 8, yeah? Yeah. SG. Just be quiet for a minute. And then over here. All right. Get rid of the eights. Uh, 13x minus 4x is. Oh, sorry, you're right. It's 10x because it's meant to multiply 5 by 2. Thanks for that. 13x minus 10x is 3x. You're correct. Minus 3 plus 12 equals 4. Bring the 9 over to your side. Minus 5. Now, here's the tricky part. Uh, Connor. Uh, it's multiplied by 3 on the left. So, what happens to the 3? Shh, that Connor there, sorry. CL. And it's multiplication on the left, which means what on the right? What's the opposite of multiplication? So fair enough. Turns into a tree. You caught that? All right, good job. Yeah. All right. Next question here. 
All right. Uh, S. Okay. S D. Thank you. Now, uh, pick a letter you want to get rid of. X or Y. X. Okay. Now, what number will two and three divide into? Six. Right. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn the yellow one into a plus six X. I want you to turn the blue one into a minus. Okay. Now, what's happening next, guys? What? Times the top one by three and the bottom one by what? X. Excellent. So do it for me. Two three times two X. Three times five Y. Yeah, three times nine. Minus two times three X. Minus two times two Y. Yeah. Minus two times four. Minus eight. Okay. What happens next? Minus 15 minus 4. Yeah. And 27 take away 8. 19. Uh, that minus 19 is multiply on the left. What does that mean when it moves to the right? Well done. And that y equals minus 1. Sub it back into one of the original equations, uh, EB. Sub into the yellow one. So what do you do here? 2x minus 5 what? Minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5, yeah. What happens to that plus 5 when you move it over? What happens to the plus 5 when you move it over? 9 minus 5. And what's 9 minus 5? All right. What happens to that 2? Where does it go? Under the four, x equals two. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, S in the corner. What's the second name? Uh, the, the, the letter, not the full name. SK. All right, SK. What you do with this one here? You're turning them on the sixes, are you? Good man. And what about this one over here? Okay. What you get? Yeah. Yeah. It was 30. Cool. And, all right, pick a letter you want to get rid of. You're getting rid of X, are we? All right, y might be slightly years here, and I'll tell you one reason. See the way one of them's already negative and the other one's positive? It's sorry, easier. So just multiply the top one by two. You're not wrong, but Y's are easier. Multiply the top one by two and the bottom one by. Three. All right, what you got then? S, D. Uh, two times two X. Yeah. Six Y, yeah. Yeah. Only right here. Now, what you got? Nine X minus six Y. Five times 19. 57, yeah. And what do we get down, lads, that downwards? And no, no, you're adding them. You're adding them. Close. 13. 6y, take away 6y. All right, 60 plus 57 is 117. Divided by 13. Anybody know? Nine, good job. And then finally, JH, finish it off. Grab the X and put it into this equation here. What you do? Two times nine. Eighteen. Eighteen plus three Y is thirty. So watch three Y. Thirty. Take away eighteen from the thirty. Yeah, and y equals 12 divided by 3, 4, sorry buddy, 